Hey guys, it's Deepwell here, and today I'm going to be doing a review on a new recording software that I came across. It's called Bandicam. Bandicam records my games and my desktop at high quality without lagging. I started off using the free trial, which lets you record for about 10 minutes, which is a huge upside on other recording software such as Fraps. The free trial only lets you record for about 30 seconds. The only big downfall about using the uh, free version for Bandicam is that it has a watermark. Even though it has a watermark, it's at the top of the screen, which is also pretty hard to find, which is a big upside. Okay, let's move on to the features now. Bandicam is basically very noob friendly. At the top, you have what you want to, uh, you have your target, also known as, um, you know, what, what you record basically. You can record a rectangle, which I'm recording now. And it's very easy to adjust and what you want to record and you can adjust the size of your rectangle during your recording as you see now. Also when you click the target button you also have a um, direct window which is good for gaming and any window that you want to record such as your internet, your internet um, boxes and uh, anything else you want to record. Now let's move on to the general tab. You only have about four tabs here. Before we go to the general tab, you only have a four, about four tabs, and only three of them actually do things. So now let's go to the general tab. The general tab has the options and output folder, and uh, that's basically all you need to worry about on this. I wouldn't touch autocomplete recording because, um, to be honest, I really have no idea what that is. So the only thing that I adjusted so far is my output folder. I put all my videos on the desktop just for easy access. Now I go to the video. Video, now you can easily set your hotkeys and your cursor, and you can choose your format and your codec. It automatically has a compressor in your video and your audio settings. I'd recommend using MPEG-1 just for the smaller video size. And I like how they also show you the bitrate that you're recording in, just in case if you want to render into different, uh, different codecs. So now you go to image. Image is basically, it just takes a picture of your desktop without going through all the print screen, you know, all, all trying to get that print screen. It's a very easy feature to use. All you do is hit it once, and then it comes up um, a, a picture on your desktop if you set your output folder to your desktop. So once again, this bandy cam is very new friendly, and I would recommend to any user who's trying to get into games or recording their games just for fun, and whoever starting ch start a channel that's uh, doing PC gaming. This is Dport, and I hope you enjoyed my review, and if you have, please drop a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll be getting a lot more Dota, uh, Dota gameplay, and some Warcraft 3 gameplay, and some more PC gaming in the near future. Thank you, and peace out.